All right, now time now for some Africa reports, uh, but uh, still uh, to, uh, right here on Breakfast Central on News Central. So many unanswered questions are from NSAS protests, where we keep an eye on what is happening today. Uh, Nigerians commemorates the 20th day of October at the Lekki shootings. Well, let's move now to Zimbabwe with an update on the United Nations uh, story. Now, United Nations uh, Special Reporter, that's Elena Duhan, has arrived in the country uh, on a 10-day visit to assess the impact of sanctions as routine uh, and adding that the visit may not change the status. Now, during his visit, Dohan is expected to meet government, opposition political parties and civic society organizations to hear their views on the impact of sanctions that the ruling ZANU-PF party says are affecting citizens. Now, that the visit will come up uh, with a report on the findings that will, pre will be presented uh, to the United Nations Human Rights Council at its uh, 51st session to be held on uh, September next year. So that will be the uh, big one uh, between the ZANU PF political uh, uh, party to look forward to uh, in the country. There will be more to follow on that with the updates on the impact on the sanctions uh, in the country. And we'll, be, we'll expect a guest to join us on this particular topic, but we move from here to Zambia, where we know that sanctions and the situation. Uh, happening within one political party and another. Now, the Democratic Party, that's the DP founding members, have, through their lawyers, LM Chambers, expelled their party president, Harry Kalaba. Now, the party's vice president, Judith uh, Kabemba, says that this decision was, uh, was arrived at after concerns that Mr. Kalaba has been bringing former PF member into the party without approval from the Central Committee, accusing him of breaching the party constitution. According to the notice of demand, the members have demanded that Mr. Kalaba ceases to parade himself as the party president. Also, the notice has further restricted Mr. Kalaba from entering the DP secretariat. Now, we're now joined by Zambian correspondent Lydia Makina to tell us more about the situation. Well, good morning, uh, Lydia. How are Zambians reacting to the crisis, uh, you know, rocking the country's third largest political party? come as a shock because we didn't see this coming and uh, as well as the division has come too early uh, knowing that uh, the, the, they were just pulling up to be uh, you know somewhere because this is the third, the third largest uh, political party in Zambia and then we, we also saw that uh, uh, the president uh, the political president who is uh, Mr. Hari Kalaba uh, he was doing his best uh, to make sure that his party was doing well. Now, coming to this, uh, Zambian reaction uh, as of now is that they are, they, are, they, are, are, they are very surprised to see this coming and that uh, uh, it, it isn't something that they saw coming too early, as well as they're trying to see what was uh, the fault for it and uh, why uh, is it that uh, among themselves, uh, because uh, we see that uh, in this uh, political party itself, there are few uh, committee members members that are in and then the few that are in they are also bringing division among themselves involving other political parties to say that behind this scene is this but uh, it's just uh, it has come as a shock in a January for Zambia so to say right Lydia now this was a minister who resigned in 2018 before moving from the previous party to um, before moving from the patriotic front to the democratic party now will the democratic party survive this division if that the good strategy, uh, they will survive. But knowing that uh, people knew a Democratic Party through Hali Kalawa, even though they have said that uh, uh, he was not a registered member, instead he was just uh, being sponsored to start as a, a political party, a president during the general election, as well as, uh, you know, uh, but he was not a registered member. But it has, uh, it is something that they should know to say that uh, people were aware about this political party because of Hali Kalawa and knowing that that his, uh, uh, his uh, lifestyle as well as his reputation he has a good reputation, so to say, we must say uh, that. And he also uh, brought in uh, good ideas among the party, uh, speaking from what people are saying. But uh, seeing the division among them, seeing him coming out and uh, seeing that they do not want to do anything to do with him. And but we don't know if there'll be the, the party will go further or there'll be something else. But we, we, we are here to see. We are here to see what is going to happen. Uh, well, Lydia, what are Mr. Kalaba's uh, comments, uh, as well as the comments uh, from the Patriotic Front Party, as they have uh, uh, been called out uh, on this matter? What are they saying now? 
to today had actually called uh, Mr. Kalaba to know what is his reaction concerning this. And he said that we should forget about uh, uh, people that are being sponsored, mm -hmm. meaning his uh, vi the vice uh, the vice president to the party with Judith. That we should forget about uh, her and uh, the the colleague that they're just being uh, uh, used or they're being used. Or something. So he, for him, he's saying we should forget about what he had said yesterday. And actually, uh, when I called him, was saying he was on his way going to a party secretary. So to say that for him, it's not something that has shocked him or he's not moved with what they, are, uh, they did. Instead, he still called himself to be a political party uh, president. And from the patriotic front, uh, these are the people that are quick to respond in anything that comes to them. But uh, surprisingly, we haven't heard anything from them yet, but definitely we'll hear something and they'll definitely deliver whatever will happen. But for now, they haven't said anything. Hey. All right. Uh, thank you so much, our correspondent uh, out there in Zambia, Lida Makina, for giving us the latest when it's uh, happening in the country. Thank you.